Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 23rd of September 2024. Uh, long term viewers of the channel will know that I'm much more interested in jazz than I am in Sudoku. Uh, uh, jazz is my real passion. Uh, as a consumer rather than a producer um, but uh, some sad news today because I've just heard of the passing of Benny Golson uh, saxophonist uh, famous saxophonist at the age of 95 uh, yes the killer new killer Joe uh, what a great track that was uh, he also played with Dizzy Gillespie and Art Blakey and his and the Jazz Messengers and uh, even played on Moaning, yes. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, you know the one I mean. <laughs> uh, age made it to the age of ninety-five, so he was uh, uh, he had a good run, let's say it like that. And um, I think ninety-five is a decent age to get to. Uh, he he actually appeared. If you remember that movie, The Terminal, uh, with Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks was where Tom Hanks was stuck in an airport and couldn't get out because of his uh, uh, his country went to war. His fictitious his fictitious country went to war, and uh, he was stuck and couldn't get a visa. And he was you know trying to go get into New York. And what he really wanted to do was go and see Benny Golson. He was the last uh, picture on last guy in the picture, um, uh, something like that. If you remember it, I, I can't quite remember it, but. Uh, I can't, I've forgotten some of the details now, but I know that he wanted to go and see Benny Golson, and he did. Eventually, he gets into New York. A, a spoiler for the end of the movie. He does get into New York, and he does go and see Benny Golson, gets his autograph. That's it. His father was collecting autographs, I remember now, yeah. Anyway, thank you for your delightful music, Benny Golson. Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? Because life has to go on, even though people pass away. Uh... Let's try the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle, shall we? Haven't seen anything yet, mind you. Nothing is really saying, hey, here I am. Uh, so let's wander through quick. But, no, before I do that, uh, the, the top row and the, this right-hand column don't have that many digits missing. So before we get started, let's have a quick look at this. What are we looking for? One, two, four, and five. And there you go immediately. One, two, and five blocking up here. So that's going to be a four. Uh, so we got one, two, and five in these. Any chance of anything? Yes, we got five blocking here, five blocking here. So there's our five. And we'll be left with one and two. Yes, there we go. Two blocking up there. So there's the two. So one going there. And I was. I noticed this column here didn't have many missing. Uh, only had a few missing, I should say. Uh, we are looking for six, seven, nine by the looks of it. And we've got seven blocking here, <coughs> nine blocking here, the six blocking there, so one of each. <coughs> okay. Actually, sixes go across here and down there, so we can get the six there. And the nine blocks here, so that's going to be a nine, and then seven is in that square. I see a triple and four, eight, and nine blocking down here. That's going to put four, eight, and nine into those three squares there. Uh, we've got an 8 blocking there, a 4 blocking there, the 9 I don't think I know about yet. Anyway, that's 4, 8 and 9, so this has to be 1, 2, 7, and doesn't look like I can get those just yet. 1, 2, 7, 1's there. Hmm. Okay, 1, 2, 7, so these are not 1, 2 or 7, they have to be 3... Five six, and mm, I don't know. Okay. <coughs> One, two, three, four, 
We have three across here, three across there, and three down there. Uh, I think this is something. Two blocking across here and two down here puts two into one of these two squares. Blocking up, two across there, two across there. There's a two. This is quite a weird looking Sudoku. Why do we have like around the outside? It's, it's unusual to get this kind of pattern first. It's a bit of a weird looking Sudoku. We've got one and three across there. We've got one and three in those squares there with the three blocking there. Um, anyway, something to think about for later. We've got ones down here. Wow. I don't know if you're hearing that thunder, but that was... A direct hit, I think. <laughs> Pretty close by. Five this way, five that way, five down there. Ah, got something. One, seven, eight. Let's try that again. One, seven, eight. Block this square here. One, seven, and eight have to be in those three squares. This has to be a nine. <coughs> I've forgotten what I put that I, 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 I worked these three squares out but I've forgotten what it was let's see again nine four and eight down here this is nine four and eight nine four and eight in these three squares okay we've got four nine eight and nine together then so that's gonna be a four isn't it four across there four across there there's our four four oh no <coughs> nine blocking down there there's a nine one two uh, 
Uh, we've got 1, 2 here. We've got 1, 2 there. We do know that this square here cannot be 1 or 2. Shall we investigate? I think it could be a 7. Uh, just 1, 2, 1, 2 there. So we've got our unique rectangle, right? So this can't be 1 or 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. It is a 7 indeed. 7 goes there. And now we've got this. Uh, so we have got uh, uh, nine and eight in those squares. And we nine down here, yeah, nine across there. There's our nine, there's our eight. Two blocks across here, there's the two, this is a one. One blocks across here, here's a one, there's a one, this is two. <coughs> eight blocks down here there's the eight this will be a seven still kind of oddly shaped sudoku don't you think it's kind of a ball it's got a bold patch in the middle Ah, mouse has stopped moving. Batteries, come on back. Okay, right, well, we're moving again. <coughs> two blocking up here will give me a two in this square. Two, oh, we've stopped again. I'm going to have to change these batteries. Hold on, don't go anywhere. This takes just a trice. As long as I don't have to clean the terminals. That's uh, recently I've been having to clean the terminals. I must admit, with isoprop, as we used to call it in the studio, isopropyl alcohol. Now, are you going to come back on? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, mouse! There we go! There we go! Right. Okay. Good. Right. As I said, it wouldn't take long. Uh, missing numbers eight blocking across there that gives me an eight there this is going to be seven uh, what are we left with down here now we're looking for four and we are looking for six and here we're looking for three five eight no good <coughs> let's see what we've got um, across the middle here. Twos are, oh, let's just see it like this. We've got ones there, there. Don't have any completed digits just yet, by the way. Two blocks up here, two blocks up here, and two across there means that two is now finished. Threes. Okay, fives upwards. Five across here and five up there. Five down here, five up there, and five across there. Five <laughs> in a straight line, please. Fives like this. And five is finished along with two we've got eight blocking this square eight blocking this square eight blocking this square eight blocking this square and eight blocking this square so in this row here is our eight and the missing number here looks to be a three
we have four blocking up here and four blocking up here that puts four into those squares there we have one and three across here that means this has to be a pair of one and three and in fact we've got the one blocking up there so that would be our one and that will be our three and coming down here we can add a little six to finish the column six blocking across there means that's a six and this would be a four Uh, still two and five that are finished. What's missing from here now? Uh, one and eight. Do we have any ones or eights? No. Oh, look, there's an empty square here. Yes, you knew about it all, all along, didn't you? But I didn't see it. nine blocks up here in this row that must be the position of nine and then the missing digit here is four so four down four up four across there means that's a four we're looking for six and seven in those squares well we've got six blocking here and so that's got to be the six for that column seven will be there seven must be down here then seven blocking across and across and down there gives me seven in that square two four five seven are finished <clears throat> not much more to be done let's see what are we looking for in these squares here three nine is it uh, any news on that i think not but hang on a second because we've got nine across here and nine up there so we know that is our nine and then the three must go there three also blocking up here putting the three there and here we're looking for one and eight and I don't know which is which and here I'm looking for eight and eight and something six I think eight and six so six blocking across here here's the six here's the eight eight blocking that way there's the eight missing number here is a one one across there there's a one last number there's a nine oh okay that's it that's all done uh, uh, enjoy your enjoy the rest of your monday take care bye bye